Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one for Midnight Releasing, and this is uh, Rabid Love. This is uh, about five kids that go camping, or is it, yeah, it's five kids that go camping, and uh, some bad things happen. Uh, so pretty much your typical plot for a slasher film. Uh, the thing about this is it's supposed to take place in the 80s, so uh, what we get here is, you know, it's a little bit of 80s clothing and things like that, but what they do really well is they uh, add in, like, this 80s pop uh, soundtrack that really fits the movie well, and uh, they use it uh, in a variety of places to help with the atmosphere and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool, uh, especially a uh, scene where... Uh, kind of our heroine fights back a little bit. They use this kind of like a drive-esque soundtrack uh, scene. I, I really enjoyed that part. But uh, as a whole, the film is decent. Uh, it wasn't amazing, but I, it was very enjoyable. It was a solid slasher movie with uh, you know some cool elements. Uh, the gore is not really amazing or anything like that, and uh, the nudity is kind of always out of focus. I think it was kind of it almost seemed like it was kind of trying to prove a point, just to be like we can make a slasher movie without gratuitous nudity and still have it be pretty good. And uh, I'd say they succeeded in that uh, run. Uh, the character that stole the show for me was I believe his character's name is Adam. He's just like this gun-toting, chauvinistic piece of crap. And uh, he's really funny in it, even though he's a uh, he's an asshole. Yeah, where are we? Almost the last sign of civilization before heading off into the great outdoors. I thought guys didn't need maps. No, we don't ask for directions. Maps are one of the manliest tools in our arsenal, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a great description for you, Adam. What? Manly? No, tool. <laughs> I'm gonna break your face. Don't worry, babe. You'll get plenty of my manly tool later. Like, I think he was the best actor in the film. Uh, it, it's kind of a, a crazy out there plot. Uh, somebody gets rabid, and also there's these bear attacks happening at the same time, which appear to be bear attacks. You can immediately tell they're not bear attacks. And it's fairly obvious to figure out what is going on in points. Uh, I mean, the whole twist is not easy to guess, but a little bit of twist here and there, you can get pretty much uh, the gist of it. But uh, I'd say all around, it's a pretty good movie, average slasher film with some really cool elements. Uh, like I said, I like the 80s style music a lot. I think that was my favorite part of the movie. And uh, all around, I think the killer had a good weapon as well. And uh, all around, I'd say check this one out, especially if you're a big fan of slasher films. Uh, 
and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, they made a good movie without uh, a lot of the stuff that they typically rely on in these movies, like gratuitous gore and nudity, and I still found myself entertained, which is kind of strange. I guess it's not always just about those things in slasher movies. Uh, one thing I did love about it is there is stereotypes in the movie, like kind of like for the genre that fit in there, but they also go against a couple of the stereotypes. Right in the beginning, uh, they go in this small little... Uh, uh, it's grocery store, grocer, or whatever, and the guy says, your guy's not welcome here. And you immediately think, oh, I was like, oh, great. Another movie where every single person down south or in a small town is a bad guy. I haven't seen this before. And then the guy's like, no. And he, he mentioned something about her sports team on her shirt from her high school, and I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that was a, a great way just to be like, yeah, we're not going to go this way with it. And I, I appreciated that uh, greatly. I'm so sick of seeing that that deal where everybody in the backwoods or a small town is automatically scum. It's like, come on, man. But regardless, uh, enjoyed Rabbit Love. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, it's, I think it just was released uh, a couple weeks ago. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one. Good afternoon. Sir? Could I use your phone? This town don't take kindly to your type. Most folks around here are wildcat fans, but my boy, he's a Jayhawk too. You'd have think I committed murder when I let him go to KU. Kenny Wilkins, he's a freshman, you know him? Um, no, sorry, I just graduated. Well, congratulations, miss. Phone's right over there. Thank you.